Hi Scorpio, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and we're doing your reading. So let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on your cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and moon signs. If this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. Also, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. All right, Scorpio. I'm, I'm really getting a lot of healing. You're coming out of um, a major healing that you had to go through in 2021. They say it takes about 17 months, all right? It takes about 17 months to get over or to completely heal from someone. But sometimes, you know, it takes years. Why? Because this is all about acceptance and really going through the process of healing. It just doesn't work that way. There's no timeline to it. All right, you have the world, the knight of swords, the hanged man, and then you have the tower very much in your energy and then the five of wands all right you could be dealing with another scorpio a pisces or an aquarius all right you have the three of pentacles the magician a lot of major arcanas are you ready scorpio for a major change happening towards you, coming towards you. Something major is about to happen and it's actually a really good energy for me. It's a really good energy. New start, new beginnings. Uh, you've rebuilt your life. You, you are ready to take that risk when it comes to love, All right? I'm getting that energy that you're now opening yourself up to potentials to people who are potentially your match or who would want to come into your life. All right. You have the world card as your overall energy. Yes, you have closed out a very toxic cycle in 2021. I'm hearing it took you a while, but now you're over it. And now you are ready to begin. You're ready for new beginnings, major life changes coming towards you definitely. All right, the world card could involve travel. You could be traveling traveling a lot or maybe someone from another country is traveling there and you're about to meet someone who is actually based in another country and is going to meet you. Take it how it resonates, all right? You have the Knight of Swords to the Three of Pentacles. Someone is very openly openly communicates of how they want things, how they plan things with you. This is someone who... Um, is actually very intelligent a lot of logic here and this is someone who isn't afraid to tell you what they really feel this is someone who wants to build a very solid foundation with you with the three of pentacles wants to work with you very much willing to work with you all right solid foundations which is a really good start when it comes to a relationship um, knights tend to be someone who's available and is looking for a very serious commitment all right so yeah this is someone very open to building that solid foundation with you all right you have solid foundations spirit is just making me want to explain a little bit a little bit more when we say solid foundations it's about principles it's about values it's about um um values principles and uh, beliefs it's not just you know love you know you love bomb someone it's not that it's more on having the same kind of set of values or um, adapting each other's good set of values principles and beliefs that's that that is solid foundation all right you have the hanged man to the magician you sorry did it move all right you have the hangman to the magician you could be dealing with a, an aquarius pisces cusp all right or an aquarius or a pisces or you could have those placements but this is someone you've long waited for 
all right i'm getting you've been patient with yourself with regard to how you healed in your past trauma how you've healed um there with the past woundings that you've gone through in 2021 and now you're manifesting something really good all right something really good a better life for you and a better love life you have the tower card the five of wands <clears throat> sorry i'm i was about to sneeze i feel like sneezing okay sorry you have the tower card the five of wands and then the king of wands all right surprise it's going to be a very very much a surprise for you you know um the five of wands here it doesn't feel like some you have to compete for someone's attention but more so this is training you've gone through a very very rocky situations in the past especially when you're with regard to your relationships because it was you being in training it was uh the universe preparing you for something better and you won't grow and become that better version of you if you don't go through adversity and that is what why you had to go through pain all right that is why you had to go through pain in the past um sometimes it's not you know easy to understand that kind of context but um you will you will understand one day why you had to go through so many things probably if that person the right person came to you um 20 years ago 10 years ago you won't be the same you would I'm getting your, you won't be at your best. Not like right now. You are at your best right now. All right? And the best person will come towards you. You have the king of wands. Someone very attractive. Someone very loyal. All right? The king of wands in the upright is a loyal king. This is someone very passionate towards you. This is someone who really expresses how they feel for you. This is equally attracted attractive and attracted to you all right i love it i love this energy what is the overall outcome my nose is so itchy The overall outcome of this reading, Scorpio is the High Priestess, the Empress, and then the Four of Pentacles. I'm getting you know that this is coming towards you. You know very much. Your intuition is really talking to you right now. It's coming towards you, all right? The Empress is about abundance here. You're getting everything that you want. You are the queen of all queens, male, female, not really gender specific. We're looking at the energy of the cards, but more so you're very abundant during this time. And then the Four of Pentacles. Um, this is you finally opening up. Finally ready to open up to someone, all right? But you are going to try... You are going to use your intuition a lot more before you let people in. All right. Bottom of the cards, the emperor. All right. I just saw it, so I had to, um, I had to show it because you have the empress card. All right. The advice for you. That's a lot of cards. All right, the advice for you is the Justice card, the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Hierophant, the Ace of Pentacles, and then the King of Cups. A lot of advice, all right? The Justice card here, it just says that you will receive the good karma that you've given up. What goes around comes around, all right? You'll receive a lot of balance and getting. All right, you have the Seven of Cups. You won't be confused when this person comes in. All right, there's a lot of clarity. You have the Ace of Swords again, clarity. There is a lot of clarity when this person comes in. Excuse me, 
I want to... When this person comes in, there's a lot of clarity. You have the higher, higher, higher level of um, commitment coming towards you. Also, have faith. Just have faith. All right? It will work out in your favor. Just have faith. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, very solid, very stable offer. Um, but more so, it's an offer from the universe. All right? Stay solid, stay grounded, stay stable as well. And then, you have the King of Cups. This is your card, Scorpio. You have a lot of love to give. So be careful about the energy and the love that you give out. But I'm getting, you will eventually, you will meet the right person that you, who deserves the love that you give. Alright? Alright. Other messages, please. I have, I need to get a bigger space. Alright, you have release. You've released this person. Alright? Release. The person from your past you've finally released. And then, other messages please. You have playfulness. Alright. Um, Spirit is reminding you of your childlike... Um, Childlike uh, soul, childlike playfulness, all right? Um, be open. I'm getting be open. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, all right? That is all I have for you. <coughs> Excuse me. That is all I have for you, Scorpio. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please do give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.